Are you ready to set up your YouTube profile to maximize views? I'm here to help. Hey, Credos. Months ago, I posted a YouTube video about how to create a playlist. And I promised at the time I'd show you how to use that playlist, but I've neglected to do that until now. I've deconstructed my typical profile page on YouTube just a bit so I can show you the steps. Come on down to my screen. The first thing you're gonna do once you're on your own channel is to click on the Customize Channel button, this big blue button. This will take you to an editing area of your page and it will look a little bit different depending on your setup. But you'll notice this section which I normally have filled, but I have deleted to show you. This is the featured video section. And there are two parts of this. One is for returning subscribers. Those are for people who subscribe and have already come to your channel. The other is for new visitors. I set these up slightly differently. And there are lots of ways to do this. I'm not telling you this is the right way. This is just my way. For new visitors, I actually want to give them a little introduction to the channel. So I'm going to put my channel trailer in that spot. If you have one, that is probably a good place for it. So the way you're going to do that is to click on this channel trailer button and you'll be able to choose amongst your videos. This happens to be my channel trailer, so I can either paste the URL out this way or I can just click my new channel trailer and click save. There's nothing else for you to do on this one because it auto populates all the information. So there's the channel trailer. Now if I switch over to the returning subscriber page, that's going to allow me to choose a video and a title. So if I click on feature content, I usually choose my most recent vlog. So I'll put that in and it asks for a heading. So I'm gonna put this in and then I'm gonna click save. Now when you're done with that, make sure you click done. I have forgotten to do this on occasion and I think I set that up and it wasn't there. This is why, click done. And now you'll have both your new visitor section, in my case, the channel trailer, and for returning subscribers, I have the latest vlog so they can see that. Now with regard to using the playlists, you'll see that I already have some playlists organized on my homepage. The top playlist I show is weekly vlogs. That's simply a reverse chronological listing of the vlogs that I post. It's got the most recent first, and if you go backwards, it will go back to the very first one at the end. After that, I have some topics. I categorize all my vlogs and blogs into topic areas, and so I include each of those vlogs in the appropriate playlist. I also add videos that are not my own that I think my viewers would like. I discuss that more in the vlog about how to create playlists. But so today I'm gonna to show you how to add a playlist. If you go down to the bottom, you'll see this button that says add a section. And there are actually a lot of different kinds of sections you can add, but I'm gonna show you how to use the playlists that we created earlier. Go to the content pop-up menu. If you see under the heading playlist, you have some choices. I like to use a single playlist. Now, normally you'll see I do horizontal rows, but in this case, just to be different, I'm gonna choose a vertical list to show you how it looks different. Now I'm gonna choose from among my playlists and I'm going to find a playlist. I'm gonna use one I don't already have up there. So in this case, I'm gonna use GTD Schedules and Organizing. That has pulled up in a vertical list the videos in that playlist and I click Done. That's really all there is to it. Now watch, if I go back to my channel, you'll see my various playlists. At the bottom, there is the new Getting Things Done playlist on my homepage. Now you can see how my channel's set up. If you start at the top, you'll have either the trailer or the newest vlog. And you have vlogs 
in the order in which I want you to see them. I want you to see the weekly vlogs and the most recent vlogs first. But for example, I have this particular playlist, the love playlist, second in my grouping because it has some of my highest viewed videos. And if you look at the money section, that has my second highest viewed videos. So those are the playlists that are most likely to bring in new viewers anyway. Now just for contrast, I want to show you my personal channel because I started uploading eight years ago, uploaded a handful of things between eight years and four years ago. And they were just family things or performances my kids did, nothing special, and I never did anything to set up the channel. So here's my personal page and you can see there's me, there's no header, there's 20 subscribers, and there are just uploads. Now uploads is a playlist of its own that's automatically generated, but it's not very interesting and that's all that will show up. And it doesn't give your viewers much to go on. It doesn't give them much of an incentive to watch more or subscribe to your channel. When you try to make your own playlists, look at the different options. There are lots of ways to set up and use playlists on your homepage. And there are lots of different ways to set up sections. So look at the different options that are available. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell. Join us on Instagram at Midlife Credo and please join the Midlife Tribe on Facebook too. Now go create the perfect YouTube homepage.